morning everyone. How are you today? Are you finding all the lovely things that you can be grateful for? Mm. I'm grateful for my ability to join in with you today for this comfy pillow in this comfy bed. <laughs> and so much more. <laughs> But we're going to carry on with this series. I've decided I'm going to do it for seven whole days. So lots and lots of people can be included in those seven days. Um, I have got uh, my usual Friday YouTube video coming up soon, which uh, as it's the first Friday of the month, I will be breaking away from this series just to uh, do an energy update for the whole of April, which um, is very much needed. Okay, so let's carry on each and every day and have this lovely shared community, high dimensional connections, which it is my pure pleasure to provide. Um, and remember, I'm getting a few people. Um, anyway, just remember that I am offering Zoom sessions at the moment. I can do half an hour, an hour, hour and a half, up to two hours, basically, of lovely, super duper higher self connections. Um, yeah, and I've got carolcumber.com website. If you want to go on there, you can find out more about those sort of options that are available. But yeah, just personal one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if there's anybody that's interested in expanding on what we're doing here or just generally inquiring about very specific questions that you need some answers to from your higher self, that's what I do. So uh, happy to be of service if that's of interest. Okay, so as we've done throughout this series, I'm pulling cards from this um, Oracle Pack, which is Archangel Animal Oracle Pack from Diana Cooper. And this morning we have Rat. So have a look at that one. Oh, scoochy and lovely and curled up. And... Okay, so let's see what she says about the rat as far as Diana's concerned. She says, rats are highly evolved and intelligent creatures with big hearts and they originate from Neptune. They offered to undertake a sacred mission on Earth to consume sewage and garbage here as well as the psychic rubbish around it. This worked well until humans created so much waste and negativity that rats could no longer transmute it all. Although more rodents arrived to help, they were all in overload and developed disease. Humans started to persecute them and now rats live in fear, so they can no longer transform and purify our debris into love. Recently, new elementals have arrived from another universe to help consume and clear waste on land and in the water. But it's time for humans to take responsibility for the rubbish we leave, both physical and emotional. Well cared for pet rats are very clever and much loved. They're holding the true vision of rats' noble mission. So our guidance to receive from it is the rat card reminds you that when you are acting with the best and noblest intentions, you may still be misunderstood. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? In extreme cases, you may even be persecuted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There will always be those who want to put out the light of others. Our guidance is to let no one diminish us. Yes. Instead, remain true to our pure purpose and hold our vision like a bright flame. Yeah. We're going to do our best at all times and only take on that which we can handle. Check internally that you are taking responsibility for your actions and then relax and know that your life mission will eventually be recognised and you will receive your reward. <laughs> okay, that's the message for today and we are going to start with Martin. So this is Martin C. I have a message for you, Martin, from your higher self. So let's see what your higher self says. Remember... The intention here is for me to be an open heart, open mind, freely given, freely taken. I receive the images and the communication from your higher self about what your higher self feels would be your highest priority right now. And then it's up to you to filter that through and see if you can find true meaning and put into action any of the things that are suggested 
um, as, um, well, that's the way to make the most of this moment, really. Okay. Let's see, Martin. Martin, this is really interesting. Um, I know that you love nature and love being out in nature anyway, so it's unsurprising that your higher self is showing me. Um, it's like a world. It's, it's like a world in creation. So something is forming at the moment. So you're, you're gathering and forming a new reality and a new world for yourself. And so the way you filtered the message through was to show me that you were standing quite high up, um, but lots of trees around you, but not a normal wood or forest. This was one where it represented, you had like a tree of every single type of tree in the world. So we had exotic trees, we had, we had every tree. So every single tree in the world were surrounding you. So you were on top of like a ridge so that you could see all of this. And it was, there were quite a few clearings and quite a few sort of groves of trees where they come together and they're, they're, they, they protect and they're, they're, they allow you to go into that deep meditation and, and shadow side. And there was lots and lots and lots of sunshine and you know, the rays of sunshine on a forest floor is just fantastic. Um, different sorts of smells so it was it's so you are in a perfect moment of creation and you are surrounded by a full eclectic group of nature spirits it's like the um, nature and tree spirits are all like hey we're here we're here you know this is my soul signature I can be with you you can be with me we can connect and we can do stuff so um, also on the trees some of them turned into totem poles so uh, there was a real sort of like connection of man and wood man and man and trees it's trees sunshine shadow running water like a brook running through a wood and um, a, a choppy lake came to view so so yeah, so the best thing you can do at the moment is immerse yourself in nature, 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 nature. Um, and it would be splendid if you could spend some time with a particular tree. So, uh, I mean, I mean like an oak or ash or whatever it happens to be, ginkgo. I don't know, sort of any particular one species. So it's like one species wants to work with you at a time. So one species and really get to know that. And the totem poles were very much um, a sacred channeling, a sacred connection with what humanity, what humans can bring to the tree kingdom and what the tree kingdom can mirror back to humanity. So you might want to look up sacred ways of totem poles. I mean, why were they invented? What were what were the native, um, our native heritage of people, tribal people wanting to do with the totems? There's something about totems that you need to actually research and have a little look into. And it might be time for you to create your own totem pole for uh, a reminder that you can go to to it, near it, be with it, and it reminds you of the sacredness that you are, the connection that's already there very deeply, but it is a supreme time of creation. So whichever form and whichever way you want to go and create, the tree kingdom is saying, just sit with us, just be with us, just look at us, just go into like silent communication with the tree kingdom. Um, make you know when you can be next to one it's not about moving about going fast it's about deeply sinking into prayerful breathing deeply sinking into prayerful breathing so you're doing the energy exchange with the tree of you know it's it's, it's oxygen carbon dioxide it's a win-win for the trees and for for you to just be in that presence to fully receive that nurturing but 
it's like the trees are stepping up to you now to be your wisdom keepers. It's like you can bounce ideas off in that environment. You can um, learn, but you can teach. And it's, al it's, it's almost as if there's some information that's coming through. I always think it's like galactic cosmic information and Earth Mother information that's coming through where you can actually just carve it. Now, you don't have to do the carving yourself of making this totem pole, but to actually doodle with it, right? It's draw it out in some way, shape, so that you can actually um, accommodate the wisdom that's coming through, so that you bring it through down onto paper, scribble it all out, draw it out, so that you've, um, you're taking action on that channeling that's coming through. And then don't worry about what it means. It's just actually, you know, oh, there was a line there, there was an eye there, there was a tail there. It doesn't matter that it doesn't represent anything that you know. What matters is that you take each of those inputs from the tree kingdom, you get it down on paper or whichever formula you like, and um, then you can sit with that and go deeper still. So it's like firstly the tree itself and yourself, allowing that creative form. And what this is actually there to do is it's to align you with more of the power that you are. It keeps you very earthed and grounded, um, keeps you tall and strong and growing, but it allows this nurturing creation to actually come into physical form. It will help the earth, it will help everybody on the earth, but this is a time to take some time for you to develop that sacred connection that you, you it's, it's as if this higher self is saying you've been yearning for this and it's a very individual way forward. This is your unique expression of your spirit right now. Okay, hope that helps. Mwah. Bye for now. <laughs> and then we have Anna B. Anna B. So this is for you. Okay, Anna. Oh, beautiful. You're beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, right. Your higher self is saying you really need to prioritize yourself. You need to really prioritize the glory, the serenity, the uh, spiritual expansion that is within your reach. So the first thing you showed me was I could see lots of children around you, lots of busyness, lots of doing, lots of lots of things going on and inputting. And you were showing me that you're very accomplished in all of these areas. <laughs> Whatever you think of yourself, you really are. Your higher self is like so proud of you. It's so like, yeah, we got this. We we can multitask to the ends of the earth. We can we we're on it. We can do this. We do a bit of that. Do a bit of this. Do another. And it's actually quite uh, magical to see how the energy moves around you. Um, when I'm shown uh, somebody with children, even if you don't have children. It's like a lot of innocent souls are around you and are um, benefit from your energy. Yeah, benefit from your energy, big time. So uh, that was all going on. And then you showed me a picture of you stepping up out of that and going into like a clearing of energy. So there's there's... There's a real call from your higher self to go into deep mindfulness, some meditation and, and some spiritual pathway. Um, so at the moment, you feel like you're in a little bit of fog. So there's there's a bit of, of mistiness around you. Maybe not fog, that's a bit too thick, but mistiness around you. Now, what this always means for me when somebody shows me this mistiness is a time of renewal and a time of contemplation and just stepping back a little bit just to actually wonder what it is you're here to do in this life. It's like you're asking some big questions, you know, why am I here? What's my sole purpose? What's really going on? Um, and 
uh, when we get moments where it's a bit misty so we, we, we we're very sure about our earthly plane and what we're doing and we carry on doing all of that but this this other part of you that's thirsty for your attention so it's very thirsty for your attention to attend to so whether you do that however you do it you know some people choose yoga don't they and some people choose um, a nice guided meditation I have some um, free guided meditations one is love your body which everybody really uh, would benefit from one is called heaven on earth um, you know have a look at um, whichever side it gets put up on have a look at the connections for those they're freely given if you'd like any of my guided meditations they're up there but there's loads out there of lovely meditations that you can just listen to and I think I think when you're going into meditation it's quite nice to have guided because it gives the mind something to do whilst we're expanding but you're a very advanced soul you're very I feel you're very advanced on this spiritual journey there's a part of you that's relived and relived and relived this a lot of times and you are here to really enjoy the busyness of the eclectic type of life that we have on earth um, but you do need to drink from the well of spirit sometimes and you do need to replenish your soul is like massive it's like can you know if we talk about auras you could extend your aura out just hugely like huge huge hugely and um and so almost like you know like a massive lake you can fill it with your energy very easily so your energy is therefore going out to lots of people and so therefore it's really important that you actually look after yourself right now really really important and i know we can get swamped with haven't got time for this that and the other we all experience that me included but actually time is one of those illusions it's like let's put it down and let's actually see what is brought to us and attend to that that's the way we can actually take full responsibility of our own actions and heart and thoughts and we can take action today on just a moment of looking at a flower just for a moment of of connecting in with the elements um you show me quite a lot of clouds so i think your you know element of of air and element of water are, are extremely wonderful for you so it's like you want a sensual uh like a sensual uh mindful connection with your spirit and that's your gateway into the next level of your spiritual being so the air element is all about mind and the um yeah the water element is emotion so the feeling and inclusion of the mind and your creation is is what you really need so i hope that makes some sense for you but do do drink from the well of spirit each and every day even if it's just a few few minutes there's lots and lots and lots of help out there for mindfulness to bring you more fully into your body into this earth so that you can actually um, accommodate and start to really enjoy the expansiveness of, of that huge soul that you have <laughs> I'm available for individual sessions if you need any more personal knowledge on that one okay lots of love oh and now we have Angie Angie P <laughs> okay Angie here's yours darling let's have a connection in So your higher self is saying, water your flowers daily. So what your higher self showed me was nature, 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 and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nature, and making a note of it and going with it. But it was like you had, um, so, you, <laughs> so your higher self was showing me that you had lots of different types of flower beds. You know, our, our, uh, our little annuals and bulbs and, and various, various things. And um, so sometimes when you're spending quite a lot of time attending to one bed, the others are, uh, the others are going thirsty. So you need to water all of your flowers and then go back and attend to one thing at a deeper level. So what I would recommend for you, Angie, is that you get a big piece of paper and you put a big heart in the middle, put your own 
name in that heart and then you just draw off off like a mind map of um you know just label different things that you feel are really important in your life right now not as a general thing but you know your family your health husband you know uh work stuff whatever it happens to be those are all representative whatever you put on the paper of the flower beds so they all need watering over the week they all need attending to and this way you've got like a real yearning to be able to to accommodate everybody and everything all of the time and this sometimes comes in and weighs on you heavily because you know you, you've got so much generosity in you so much fun so much lightness so much loving that you want to share this all of the time but you have to remember to feed yourself there seems to be a theme here on this one it's about you know going within and making sure you look after you so uh, one of the ways of doing that is if you draw this map and you think right okay uh, I'm doing it in a very simplistic way and obviously it might not be this this way but you know Mondays are this, Tuesdays are that, Wednesdays are that, da 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 da, -da. and you know then at the beginning of the week you're going to get around to everything and everyone that's so heart enrichingly good for you in your generosity of giving that it's like oh yeah I can do all of this and you can just relax and let go of the other flower beds for the six days because you're attending to this one today. Or you might want to attend to all of them quickly one of the days and then just take one at a time to enjoy the depth of the communication and the depth of the sensations and the relationships and the conversations and inquiry. Um, just, just one a day and just allow yourself to really relax, breathe and really enjoy the opportunities that are here for you particularly right now. You've got opportunities of breath, of space, and your higher self is saying, hey, why don't we just chill and sit back a little bit and enjoy the space that we have? Your angels are very, very, very with you and pleased and going, woo, going sort of like, hallelujah, that you're uh, practicing the art of gratefulness every day, all the things that you're grateful for. The angels are like really thinking you're cool on that one. <laughs> okay, darling. Bye for now. So, connecting in next with Stacy. Stacy S, this is for you. Right, Stacey, right now it feels to me like you're in a river with lots of boulders and there's lots of moss and slippy stuff on the boulders and you're slipping and sliding around the place. So your higher self is saying we need to get to safe shore and find purchase. So, so this river has your life at the moment is slippy and you, you feel like you're a little bit ungrounded and that you're afraid of falling. So the image that you've given me, I've been in this situation <laughs> loads of times physically where you're trying to cross a body of water and the stones are really slippy and it's like, oh my God. And sometimes we fall in, you know, sometimes we get wet, sometimes it's uncomfortable, sometimes we hurt ourselves, but we can always see that the, well, if you like me, clumsy, at times you can always get you just keep going you pick yourself up your higher self saying you pick yourself up pick yourself up keep going okay you will get some scratches and bumps and 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 some fear along the way but the you can see the embankment on the other side you can see it and they say it's just there it's within reach so you keep going and then you get across to the other side and when you're at the other side of course the sun will be available you will dry out there will be some hopefully some showers to have whatever you need and there'll be sustenance and there'll be quieter times as in as in more peaceful times of the mind and heart and you'll be able to um 
you'll be able to look back on this part, you'll be able to look back on this chapter as a growth area where you've needed to dig deep. You're digging deep at the moment to get to the other side. The other side is totally and utterly there. It's definitely there. No one can actually move that. It's there. The universe puts these things into place. It puts them into place when we need to actually learn quite a few, you know, soul lessons. We've all <coughs> decided to come here as a soul, in my view, and you've you've embodied this particular body at this time to 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 flourish really to flourish and to be really happy and to be peaceful and to to accommodate all of the higher vibration type emotions but right now and for many of us thank you so much for bringing this to our group stacy because right now a lot of people are going through exactly what you're going through it's slippery times it's like the rug's been pulled from under our feet we don't know which way to go what to do or what's happening you know it's 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 sort of like a potential to um allow people to really go into their shadow side really go into the shadow side and find out what grit am I really made of? And you're in the grit. You're finding out, well, how strong am I really? You know, and it's, 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 you know, we will have emotions of fear, of doubt, of, of, you know, what self-worth is all about. All of these things are natural human phenomena for us to experience. There isn't one person on the planet that hasn't been into those lower pits um, I've got a video on, on, on the pits, the reasoning mind and higher mind. If you want to check that one out, Stacey, you, you, there's some things in there that will enable you to, for you to start making some decisions as to how you get up into the reasoning mind, so higher vibrations and how you get up to the higher mind, which is where you have decided you've, you've, it's like you've, you've, put your line out and you've decided I'm going to the higher mind I'm getting there and I deserve this and I want it and I'm having it so brilliant um so keep your focus on that because we obviously need to accommodate um every single emotion when we're in the pits whatever that happens to be but you have decided this is happening because you've decided you want something better a lot better and so you decided that's what the goal is and actually your body your mind all your emotions is doing their best right now to get you there so please 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 keep your courage keep your love keep your tenacity going because you're nearly there you're about two-thirds of the way over this river maybe more I'm, you know, a couple of my um, limitation areas is time, <laughs> uh, names and and sort of measurements of stuff like that. So you, you, you're you well on your way. You're well on your way. This isn't going to last forever. You will get into that reasoning mind and that will give you a gateway into your higher mind. Please look up that video. There's also a video called 4x4 four four Breathing. I really, really would love you to start practicing that every single day. This isn't your higher self talking. This is me, Carol, and my healer bits coming in, Stacey. So um, take that as, as you find it or not. But, you know, um, a few of you could do with this. Really look up the 4x4 four four, um, video and please look up Game of Opposites. Stacey, you really need the Game of Opposites. I haven't got time on this one to repeat it here. But there is a video called Game of Opposites. Please go to that and have a look at that. Please look at 4x4 four four breathing. I'm just going to make a note of these for you so we can put it up against your name. So that's 4x4 um, four four Game of Opposites and the um, yeah like the different vibrational essences of what uh, the pits is, reasoning mind and higher mind. We're going to put those up for you so that you can access them really easy um yeah so stacy amazing it's okay to be in the poopy times because they pass and other times are just around the corner and there's value in the poopy times because it's like most mock isn't it you know you need a bit of of manure really to grow the strongest plants and that's where you are right now and you're in it so take the nurturing from that manure and you allow yourself to grow into the beautiful being that you are. You've got a lot to give to this world, a lot. But right now you're gathering your resources and you're learning from life. 
So please have a look at those other videos. They really work. They really will help you find more perches across this slippy river onto hard, hard land, back onto the land again. Okay. If you need any more information on one-on-one, -on -one, you know where I am or other people are out there to assist too. Bye for now. Okay. So this next connection is for Anna, Anna W. Okay. Itchy nose, news coming. Woo. Okay, Anna. High stuff is very clear on this one, Anna. You need to go to high ground. So your 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 ugh, your higher self is saying it wants you to get out of doors. It wants you to get out into nature and go to a high place. Go to the highest place. I know we're under restrictions at the moment, but the highest place you can so you can get perspective. So your higher self is saying on every single aspect of your life that you're looking at right now, you need a bigger perspective. And it can't be had when you're limiting yourself to the four walls of any room in the mind, heart or emotions. It's a very clear, one-off, big message, this, Anna. It's like, let's go to high ground. Let's, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like trying to. So what they're saying is you're trying to find answers to things. Uh, let's, say, let's say you're trying to find answers of the shape of a continent. And you've never been to this continent and you've never seen a map before, but you've been given the job by Universal Life Force to, sh to draw a map of this continent. So at the moment, you're trying to find the answers within those four walls and there's no Google search or Google Maps available. And you just, you know, how are you going to do that? One of the ways is to go deeply into your intuitive self and develop your intuition so you can psychically receive the information. The other is to get perspective. So maybe um, in, this, in this example, you would take yourself into outer space and you would look at the whole planet. You'd move yourself over a continent and then you'd be able to trace it. So the perspective will give you all of the answers that you're looking for whether they're minute little questions in your view or huge weighty ones you definitely need perspective so please 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 physically go to a high place as soon as you can go to a high place so that you can actually i'm seeing like there's a hill behind your actual home and it's like go to that hill behind your home so you can see your home from the hill see the home from the hill so you get a you get a much better view of home because you're standing on this hill you've got a better perspective and that so yes Anna go to your hill go to your hill <laughs> thanks sweetheart okay so my next person for a connection is Davinia B so this is for you Davinia we'll just connect in see what it is you want to say I want to congratulate you, Davinia, for your staying power. So, mwah, congratulations to your staying power. Okay, so you have been misunderstood hugely in your life. It's really interesting. I'm feeling like that card of the rat that came up is really, really important for you. Um, so you you are amazing because you just keep putting one foot in front of the other and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and keep going so so hats off you know total respect total respect so um you've been born with a sole purpose that just gets up and keeps going that whatever's going on you keep going but your higher self is saying, you know, 
this part of our life is kind of like done now um it's sort of like saying you know let's take the riches let's take the riches of learning of life let's take all of those riches and it's almost like you're showing me a tapestry and let's weave a picture you know let's let's treasure them let's sort of take all of those riches of all of those trials and errors and fun times and and whoop de woo and everything else let's put them all in a in a beautiful treasure box a beautiful tapestry it's like a tapestry that you're sewing as a reminder you can put that on the wall and it's like yeah i did that yeah i got this that's that's me i i yeah i've got this it's totally cool so it's almost like you, you, you could do with actually just reminding yourself of how much you have actually done, how well you've done, what you've accomplished, because there's a lot there. I would sit and meditate on that a bit. What have I accomplished? Who am I? It's like there's thoughts there um, of, of self. You're working on self-worth as well, like every human being is. Um, and uh, it's like your higher self is reminding you about how bloody amazing you are. You forget sometimes. You just get lost in, in the stuff and it, you forget. And we're here today to remind you that you're awesome. You've done so many amazing things. And, you know, you, you, you've got this really uh, complex soul that says, you don't even know half the time that you've done something great for someone. It's It comes so naturally to you um to give that comment or compliment or or have a little think about this that and the other and say something to someone and someone goes away thinking wow that's really opened some doorways for me and you will never know you don't know half of what the goodness is you've provided in this world and your higher self just wants you to sit there pat yourself on the back <laughs> know it and decide that all those things that you have survived and, and turned round and found the goodness in, you know, you deserve that tapestry on the wall to remind yourself of all the goodness that you are. And something's changing. It doesn't feel like it's, um, so it doesn't feel like it's absolutely immediate. It feels like it's an incubation, okay? So a part and an aspect of your soul is all our aspects of our soul are, are here together. And sometimes we actually pay more attention to one side for the majority of our lives. And yet there's others that, that want to sort of have some headroom. They want to come up and be investigated. And yet one part of the aspect of your soul, Divinia, is coming up now. It's coming up. But it's not like forcing its way through and knocking things about. It's very gently unfolding. That's the way your higher self is telling me to say to say it to you. It's gently unfolding. So keep nicely open hearted and aware and trusting in life that the universe is bringing you as you're accommodating and recognizing. So your higher self's big message today is to recognize all the goodness that you actually are and that you've done. You need to sit down and be with that for a bit and allow it to sink in rather than going on to the next thing. Just allow that to sink in. That's really important. That vibration then fills your aura and it feeds it back to you through universal attraction. So that's the biggest message. But the other one I really wanted to, wanted to pass on is that other things are formulating at the moment. Things are changing and formulating and there's a new breath of air coming into your life. It, it doesn't feel like it's quite now. It feels in a few months or whatever, four, maybe seven but it's coming up now as as you, you're planting seeds or rather the seeds that you've planted a long time ago are starting to grow um some interesting opportunities that are coming your way you don't have to push and pull or or go out looking for them just be aware so that when they do come to you you have the option of accepting that invitation for growth of spirit have fun more lightness more woo playtime <laughs> okay, I hope that was of help then. Bye for now. And Eleanor C. So this is for you, Eleanor. Let's see what your higher self wishes for you. 
you to be incarcerated there. Oh, you want me to say E as well. So Alan is C, was E? That's you, so absolutely clear. Alan, are you like things, definite and you love playing, speaking and getting it all ordered. Okay, so that's the first thing that comes through. But let me just go back into your connection for you, sweetheart. Okay, Eleanor, right. So your higher self is showing me that you stand tall and so energetically this is, you stand tall and kind of like head and shoulders above most of your family. I'm gonna bring family in, okay? So this is, this is, it doesn't mean necessarily mean your physical structure. You know, we can be five foot four and still have this energetic blueprint. But you're standing tall and you're standing very, um, you're with your family, you definitely know you're part of the family, but you're, you're, you seem to have insights, knowledge, and definitely a serenity about you that's not necessarily appreciated by some people around you, sweetheart. You're born different, okay? You're definitely born different. It's like my mum always used to say to me, I don't know where you're from. <laughs> signature same as you you know your thumbprint your iris everybody's made with this beautiful unique signature but you my darling have a big part of your soul in higher dimensions which means that you're very ethereal you've got a lot of etherics in you and that you kind of glow from inside but it does mean that other people might not always get what it is that you're trying to say hello welcome to our world <laughs> might not might not kind of like yeah like so you're searching for your club you're searching for your soul family i always talk about our our um our connections in this way as soul family i feel like we're all connected on the soul so in one way you really understand that everybody is connected that we are one family one family and yet we really need to honor and be proud and really enjoy the, the, the greatness and the power and the love and the expression of who we truly are. You are at a time in your life now where you are really ready to not apologize for who you are. You, you, your higher self wants you to step into all that you are and just be all those different beautiful aspects that you are in this world. Be okay about being you, get comfortable with being you. This is a, a journey, as it's, it's actually a spiritual journey that you're on, whether you've labelled it that or not, where you're um, evolving, you're evolving into the biggest and best human that you possibly can. And these higher dimensional energies and soul that you are, are trying to impart the wisdom of how you can actually start to get more comfortable in this physical body at this physical time on this physical planet because you're, you're very ethereal, you're very loose and, and um, on other. So I've done, um, you know, have a look in some of my work and stuff and some of the YouTubes. I can't remember the name of what I put up now, which was all about different dimensional energies. So I do things called soul readings, where I find out um, how many other lifetimes people are living on different dimensions of time and space at the same time. I believe all of this is happening at the same time. So you can be influenced by all of these higher vibrations that are coming through. There's a lot of wisdom, a lot of fun, a lot of lightness um, that wants to come in even more for you right now. And um, yeah, first of all, get really comfy with who you are it's it's freedom it's just so freeing to be fully expressive with all the amazing talent that you are i wish you well <laughs>
Okay. Okay, and my last one for today is for you, Chris, Christine G. Okay, this is for you. See what your high self wants to say today. Oh, wow, Chris, you are being lifted in a completely different space. It's like, it's like, oh my God, it's like, uh, oh, hang on. Let me get this clearer. Cool. Now, Chris, you've been with me on some of my Enchanted Lands adventures. <laughs> and the Enchanted Lands adventures is all about heaven on earth. It's about a heavenly life living on this earth plane. And I believe that is a reality. And I know people think I'm bonkers because look at the world as it is now. I think it's a massive opportunity for human awakening. And, you know, it's, it's like the earth mother is is most definitely talking to us in terms of um you know come on guys i'm taking you with me on this adventure of heavenly life on a higher vibrational existence um and almost whether we like it or not we're going there so we can accommodate that or not and if we're if we're asleep all the time we're not attending to that aspect of our soul then mother earth takes over a bit and sorts it out for us now the reason she's speaking in that way is your higher self is saying that's the journey you've been on. So it's like it's like you may have had your head in the sand, you may have had your look in the other way, you may have done you've done all of that and it's over. It's completely over. That's done and dusted. You have decided this is it, this is my heaven, I'm going for it. So you're not even on um the first aspect of your soul showed me you had one more it was like you were one more step on a stepping stone over the river of life and then you'd be on the other shore and you can find purchase and depth um but there's part of you that's really enjoying standing on that stone and it's like oh i'm under a waterfall of learning i'm under a waterfall of acceptance and loving and good for you. I mean, it's really important to be able to let go and allow those those experiences to be what they need to be. And there's a part of you that's frustrated in the fact that um, you can't do it the way the way it should be done. When in fact, life is bringing you a completely different stepping stone for you to say get on with it go on to the next stepping stone you've got one more to do and then you're on your new life you're on your new doorway to life you're on your new experience of life because you've reached a different land you've reached the the epitome of what this whole life is about of bringing this spiritual energetically high fifth sixth seventh dimension to the earth plane which is already here if we've got the eyes to see it and the heart to know it and remember so you've got so enjoy what you're enjoying but let go of it needing to be that way and just make that jump to that last stone that last one over this river enjoy whatever that is that brings it to you it's like um it's like freedom and um that stone that you're going to now is more one of uh well if this is it this is it like if if i need to survive on um i don't know why you show me wheatgrass i <laughs> could you go in <laughs> at the same time that's definitely not a channeling for you to get wheatgrass that's just an example of uh, unpalatable um and not necessarily what you think is the best thing so there's a different mixture there's a different menu available of life excuse me because i need some water <coughs> and it's just one more step <laughs> so what you're doing in summary and for some clarity enjoy where you are now then with 
a plum and with with courage and dignity move to your next stepping stone the beautifully zen these stepping stone i have to say is sort of like dappled sunlight in a in a forest beautiful river it feels like a a zen garden you know like a japanese zen garden where you're going around these beautifully placed you know it's not rocky slippy stuff it's <clears throat> beautifully placed round carved round stones very very gorgeous and so you've got one more to step on that you're very secure they're not slippy they're all dried in the sun and and they're beautiful it's that one you need to go to next where you can experience just letting go of anything that you thought needed to be in place for your full health for your full-on living it's like okay this is i'm okay with whatever that needs to be um it's like the universe is is kind of stripping you down of the mind's need to hold on to anything it's sort of like what happens if you allow your mind to wander wherever it wants but you allow it to be free it doesn't have to get hold of any one formula or any 10 million formulas you allow yourself to let go of every formula that there is so that when you step over to this last stepping stone before your solid life is in front of you it's with one of wonder inquiry gentleness greatness it's like those are the qualities your higher self is bringing forth for you to in immerse yourself into it's like it's like a growth of goodness and fruition that's the word thank you it's a growth of goodness and fruition that's there for the taking when you step on this last stone before you reach the life that you've got planned and the solidness and freedom of firm earth beneath your feet hope that makes some sense got there in the end <laughs> lots of love okay guys that's it for today um i'm going to carry on with these and see if we can have some lovely connections with everybody else that's on my little list here and uh, i'm giving myself seven days to do these um so this is the fourth one by the time i get to seven days i will have to complete that offering um, I've already completed all those I promised to and I'm taking more and more names and I'm happy to do so but uh, when I get to seven days that will be a completion of this series for now there will be others but for this series okay my loves lots of love bye for now